Fortnite's Chapter 2 slash Black Hole event has the internet losing its mind. Fans of the Battle Royale Fortnite have been wondering how Fortnite Season 10's finale was going to top itself, and it turns out the answer was for Epic Games to simply shut down the whole dang game. Over the weekend, Fortnite players found the entire game collapsing into a singularity as the Battle Royale Island was sucked into a black hole. Ever since that moment, players trying to sign into the game have been stuck watching this black hole for hours, which has led to millions of views on Twitch and YouTube of a swirling blue circle while occasionally numbers would appear. And while this has led fans to speculate if these numbers are some sort of code or easter egg, one confirmed hidden surprise is that if fans enter the classic Konami code, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA start, it gives them a mini game to play. Of course, many believe that this is all a precursor to something even bigger, and based on some of the leaks popping up, which we will break down in a few moments, it could be the launch of season one of chapter two. However, in the meantime, fans have taken to social media to express their thoughts and frustrations about the hashtag Fortnite Blackout. First off, official PlayStation support weighed in, saying please be assured that your inventory items and V-Bucks are secure during the Fortnite Blackout. For any other Fortnite questions, please visit help.epicgames.com. Well, that certainly got to be a relief for some people, but that certainly didn't put everyone's fears at ease, like streamer at Courage JD, who said, Fortnite is gone. Twitch isn't loading. I'm terribly scared I might have to go outside. Some people were trying to figure out exactly what caused this, and at Frisk MK might have figured the whole thing out, and the culprit is a certain naughty goose from another viral game. OMG, I know what happened to at Fortnite game. It's certainly as good an explanation as any. But figuring out what the strange numbers mean became an internet obsession, like at Tim the Tatman, who tweeted, everyone trying to figure out what the Fortnite numbers mean. And even esports teams got in on the speculation, like at Team Secret, who tweeted, what do the numbers mean? 11, the average age of a hashtag Fortnite player. 146, the amount of hours you will have to wait for season 11. 15, the amount of days until you get bored of season 11. 62, the amount of Skittles we have eaten since the black hole started. Well, Okay, well, we don't know about you, but 62 Skittles seems on the low end. There. All right, others took to Twitter to express their frustrations, like at MediSignorette, who said, Nice, Fortnite is still down, now I have no excuse to not do my homeworks and go outside. GG. We will give 10 to 1 odds that schools will see test scores rise as a result next week. At Cypher, PK turned the knife a bit more, tweeting, Imagine your parents said, finish your homework and do all your chores and you can play Fortnite all day. You finish all of it, and then Epic said, Even Satan himself got in on the viral tweeting action, torturing Fortnite fans with, Fortnite is dead, just like your hopes and dreams. Yeah, Satan, we live in 2019. We know. But some people found the silver lining to this whole thing, like at Lil Tree Prod, who said, Fortnite ended a couple hours ago, and I finally went downstairs to speak to my family. They actually pretty cool people. And Zexro from TSM, who said, Who knew the best thing for Fortnite's viewership on Twitch was to take away the gameplay? It's the age-old adage, give the people what they don't want. But maybe the most sobering tweet of them all was from the unofficial Fortnite news outlet at Fortnite BR. I think the fact that we actually cannot handle Fortnite being offline for 12 hours kind of tells you that addiction really is a thing. We bet some people feel like they were being added with that. But what does all of this mean? Well, as we mentioned, based on some of the leaks popping up, it appears that all of this is a precursor to Chapter 2, Season 1. Now, as always, these should be taken with a grain of salt, but it's fair to say that these leaks do feel real, so we will still throw up a quick spoiler warning in case you care about that sort of thing. According to leaks, we will be getting a new map as well as new features like hiding in barrels and carrying down teammates. There will also be new cosmetic changes as well as the addition of boats and pogo sticks. But it's no surprise that Fortnite's actual creator, Epic Games, has been mum on what will happen when the game comes back or if it will at all. At the end of the day, the internet is continuing to do its thing, but when can players expect to sign back into Fortnite? Rumors are now swirling that fans could see something as early as Tuesday. But we will see. What do you folks think? Are you pissed you couldn't play Fortnite this weekend? Did you just switch to Apex Legends? And what do you think will happen once Fortnite comes back online? Let's discuss. 
Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, why not give us a like and subscribe? If you want to get notified every time we go live with the show or drop a new video, feel free to mash that little bell so you can be up to date on all the latest theories, news, and rumors in the pop culture world. Thank <laughs> you.